Are you using folders on your Stream Deck? Well, I was too, but in my case, that's because I totally misunderstood profiles. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and in this video we're talking about Stream Deck. Now this isn't going to be a an introduction to Stream Deck by any means. This is more for people who are already actually actively using their Stream Deck and specifically if you are using folders with your Stream Deck. So when I first got the Stream Deck and I'd had a look at the different options that you have in terms of organizing uh, different uh, screens on your Stream Deck and uh, one option you have is to create profiles and one of the key features that is highlighted in this is that you can uh, set a profile and then assign this to a particular application so that whenever you open that application it opens up that profile. Uh, and uh, you have all of the uh, commands that you might need for that application to hand. There is also folders on this Stream Deck which allow you to create in effect something a little bit of a similar effect because you can create multiple different screens if you like and have uh, different uh, actions within those and so be coming from a probably a little bit more of a traditional background and uh, being a big fan of nested folders in uh, the file the finder and so on uh, then i did tend towards the uh, nested folder uh, setup and also I wasn't so keen on having the Stream Deck automatically switch profiles uh, depending on the application I was in because often I might be in one application uh, such as Zoom for example on a meeting but then I'm demonstrating something that is in Microsoft Excel and so I wouldn't want it to switch to an Excel profile just because I had opened up Excel when I was in the middle of a Zoom meeting. I would want the Zoom meeting to be the, uh, the dominant <laughs> application there and so for me I didn't want it just sort of making its own mind up when it was going to switch between profiles uh, I wanted to be in control of that myself and so for me the folders route seemed like the best way to go and uh, I'm sure there are lots of people watching if <laughs> if there are lots of people watching I'm sure there'll be some people who are watching who will be shouting at the screen saying that's silly profiles are the way to go but I'm just making this video for anybody else who went down the folder route as I did and I'm going to point out what I believe was the error of my ways and I found uh, what I think is a bit of a better way to approach things and maybe other people who are using folders may find this useful as well. So uh, <laughs> if you want to leave a comment saying how, uh, how crazy it was to go down the folder route in the first place be my guest but I'm well aware of it. <laughs> so I'm now in my, uh, basically this is my Ecamm Live uh, Stream Deck view, surprisingly enough, because that's the application I'm using. <laughs> now I've got this big orange uh, home button at the top. So uh, previously, as I say, I had all of this in a folder and this was effectively a folder and the home button was the back button and this comes to my home screen. Uh, so as I say, this basically looks very similar to everything that I was doing before with folders. Uh, and just in case you're interested, along the top I have uh, some uh, volume controls. This changes my speaker output, whether I want it to come out through my monitor, in-ear monitors or through my uh, the speakers on my monitor uh, then I've obviously got uh, this is mute volume up volume down uh, this one switches my keyboard and mouse to control uh, my, either my iPad or my mobile uh, iPhone or my Mac and then I have this one to flick between spaces on my Mac uh, along this row here I've got various different uh, sort of I suppose work roles really uh, these are different uh, views that I have or different screens that I have for the stuff that I do for this channel uh, then I've got one for my podcast and then these are for different companies that I'm involved in and so I've got different actions set up related to those companies. Then on the next row I've got some that are more uh, like applications so uh, I've actually got my calculator so if you missed that I did actually create a, uh, <laughs> a uh, desktop calculator out of my uh, Stream Deck so I'll leave a link to that video in case you want to make that yourself. <laughs> but then further along here I've got basically uh, sets of uh, Stream Deck screens for different applications so for example this one here is for my OmniFocus so when I'm doing my task management and doing my weekly reviews, monthly reviews, things like that I have various different actions assigned here for different perspectives and things like that in OmniFocus. I will get around to making a whole video about OmniFocus actually because it is one of those Mac apps that I use uh, quite heavily. So there we go I've got different applications here. Uh, I've also got uh, another one for dictation so sometimes I'm dictating uh, uh, text and things like that so I just have a button here that I can press to dictate uh, using Siri dictation 
uh, quick access to settings, which I seem to use quite a lot often in these demonstrations. <laughs> I've got another one, which is actually a, it's a folder of folders for certain files and folders that I access quite regularly on my Mac. So I have those on a particular screen. And then here I do find myself using emojis. And as you can see, I'm either uh, happy, laughing, grateful, or <laughs> in agreement those are my four primary emotional states and anything else I can pull up the emoji picker from here but that's basically what my front screen looks like and as I say uh, most of these things so for example all of these applications and all of the sort of uh, work states if you like uh, were previously all folders and uh, what I've done is I've changed these all to be uh, instead of folders they are now profiles so if I come into my profiles uh, or my settings rather clicking the little cogwheel uh, you can see that we've got uh, basically all of those different things uh, that I've just shown you so my different work uh, roles uh, different uh, uh, take one tech profiles and then different applications and so on as well and why is it better do I feel now to have these all as profiles? Well, I actually don't use the, um, uh, you can, you see this feature here, which is Stream Deck will automatically switch to this profile when uh, you are in a particular application and you can, this is where you could click down and I could select, for example, I could select Photoshop so that it always opens up my Photoshop apps when that's open, or I could open uh, Excel and have it open all my Excel. I, um, Stream Deck profile when Excel is open but as I've said I don't actually want to do that ever because of the way that I use these applications I'm often using them with something else and so I uh, I just want to be in full control of that so as I say that's why I sort of ignored profiles for so long uh, so I don't have any of these uh, active by application but the thing that is so useful about the, this way of doing things is that now for example I have uh, so if I go back into my take one tech recording uh, profile which is this one I'm going to press on this button in fact I even made a nice little scene for you to see <laughs> how I can use it the thing that is different now is whereas before I used to create a folder for applications uh, for uh, commands so say for example in this one I've got some other uh, uh, actions <laughs> that are related to Ecamm Live for my Take One Tech channel but that I don't actually have active all of the time on the main screen uh, but I might want to access those when I also have a profile if I come back I've also got a profile for streaming when I'm live streaming from uh, uh, Ecamm Live on Take One Tech. So I'd press this button and this brings up my streaming uh, screen, which is very similar, but it's not exactly the same. There are a few things that are different. The uh, instead of recording, the going live button is different and various other things like that. But I still may want to access those other commands that I was also accessing from the other screen. And by making them a profile, uh, I can simply click this button here and it will take me to that exact same screen that I just showed you. And the reason why uh, this is better is because before, if I made a folder, you could actually always, I've got a folder here, so you can just copy the folder and you can paste it somewhere else such as like that <laughs> the only trouble is the contents of this folder are now completely independent of the contents of the other folder and so if I was to have a you know set of secondary controls or something like that then uh, if if I change them in one I would have to go and manually change those in another whereas you can just simply uh, take the uh, link to the profile and copy that and so I could copy this obviously I wouldn't copy it into the same uh, place but I could copy it into another profile for example and there you go it would uh, it would still be just linking to that one uh, profile and if I make any changes on that then those changes would be reflected everywhere where I've got that duplicate uh, command and I can also uh, just as a, maybe an even better example if I'm on my front page so here is my calculator profile let's say is like that uh, now I could come back here and if I copy my little calculator from here, just go copy. Let's say when I'm in OmniFocus, sometimes I might need a calculator. Well, I could actually just embed it right into there like that. And so then if ever I needed to access the calculator from there, I just press on that button 
and it brings up the calculator. So the benefit really is the fact that uh, it's exactly the same as a folder in many respects. You can still got all of the screen real estate. You still have the uh, the space where you would normally have the say the back back up arrow to get out of the folder. Well, you can just have that linking to uh, like the home screen, or you could actually even have it linking to multiple different places. So if I come back to this example, so I've got my uh, my three different sort of modes of using my TOT uh, Take One Tech. Uh, uh, profiles <laughs> and then we've got those extra little buttons that I want to have access to so I could have uh, coming back to here again coming back into my recording setup so these extra buttons which I have assigned to here you can see that down the left hand side I've also can go back to any one of those three profiles so it means that I can always get back to the profile that I was in so I know this might not make a lot of sense if you are new to Stream Deck, but as I say, this is not a video that is aimed at uh, new Stream Deck users or people who haven't uh, necessarily had experienced this. It is more aimed at people who are using uh, folders specifically. But maybe I should just quickly show you if we want to how to do this because it is quite simple. If we come into my preferences, uh, if you want to add in a new profile, you simply open preferences and just click uh, new and bear in mind that you can have multiple different profiles and you don't have to have them all linked to the front screen you can actually change them manually so if I just put this as test profile and now what you'll see is on the uh, Stream Deck here you can change manually within the Stream Deck interface but obviously you won't have access to that on the, the Stream Deck itself but I can come down to here and now I've got a completely uh, blank profile you always get this little welcome button to start with so let's just get rid of that one uh, but then to link to a uh, folder before we used to just right click and then uh, do create folder and then that would create a folder and you could double click in that and you'd always have this back arrow to get back to the previous screen uh, well if you want to add a link into a uh, profile you simply click on the stream deck section at the side and then here you can just go to switch profile so this, I could have this going back to my home. So I can just come down here and you can see in the profiles, it's got all of your profiles listed. So I could have that coming back to my home profile and then obviously adding some pretty icons. Uh, incidentally, all of my icons, I've uh, recently just been making all of my icons in Keynote and I made a video all about how you can do that. So I'll link to that in the, uh, in the description and in the top corner when I get around to it as well. And so this pressing this button here, would take me back to that home screen so I hope that you have found that useful and if you have found it useful then uh, obviously don't forget to go and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be making a whole series of videos all about uh, Stream Deck in particular uh, and uh, I'll be starting actually probably the next one I make will be a total beginner's guide to Stream Deck because although I've made a few videos about Stream Deck I haven't actually done the sort of total beginner's guide so if you were a little bit lost for, from uh, <laughs> this video then do watch out for that video and also I'll leave a link to my Stream Deck playlist over on the right hand side. So until the next time, have a great day.